You've given us the power to keep our surroundings clean and to keep our hands clean as well. You're welcome back from the break. It's Global Hand Washing Day and we're going to be discussing the importance of hand washing. I'm sure we've heard it time and again, but it's, it's, it's important that we reiterate it every single day. I have a few fun facts about hand washing. According to an undercover research in 2013, only 5% of people wash their hands correctly. Only 5%. What happens to the other 95% of people? Uh, soap and water are more effective than hand sanitizers. Yes, you need to wash uh, you know the dead off but in the absence of water and soap and alcohol based sanitizer with at least 60 percent alcohol is wait, hold on but in the absence of water and soap an alcohol based sanitizer with at least 60 percent alcohol is the best alternative women wash their hands significantly more often uh, use more use soap more often and wash longer than men the fifth fun fact for today seven percent of women and 15 percent of men do not to wash their hands at all after using the restroom mm, change your life if this is you if everyone routinely washes their hands a million deaths could be prevented there can be more than a thousand resident bacteria per centimeter square on your hands mm. now the eighth one damp hands spread thousand times more bacteria than dry hands <sighs> that's scary Reminds me of when people wash their hands and go around just shaking other people with their wet hands. But this morning, uh, to discuss the importance of hand washing as we're celebrating Global Hand Washing Day is uh, behavioral, behavioral Change Communication Specialist uh, Edward Thompson, all the way from Global Communities. Good morning, Edward. How Good are you? Good morning. I'm fine. How about you? Very well, thank you. How's yeah. Global Hand Washing Day looking like for you and Global Communities? Um... For me, looking at the kind of work that I do, mm -hmm. um, I get excited anytime um, it is Global Hand Washing Day mm. because if for nothing, it creates visibility okay. about the importance of um, washing our hands, particularly we say at the critical time. That is the time that we are most susceptible to inject, ingesting germs if we don't wash our hands. Yeah. So, and also, the fact that um, it, it, it creates a spotlight globally on what is happening with hand washing okay. ac across countries. Mm -hmm. Then also coming to Ghana, Ghana. as a country, yeah. what we could do, either um, all stakeholders mm -hmm. at the governmental, non-governmental, public, private sector, mm -hmm. um, individuals, communities, yeah. we can all do to ensure that hand washing with soap and becomes mm -hmm. a habit and not an annual event that we celebrate right. on 15th October. Okay, that's, that's a good one actually. Um, there, are, there are a few myths. Uh, people say that, you know, washing your hands with, um, you don't need to wash your hands with soap. And even if you do wash your hands with soap, it doesn't kill germs. Is that true? Um, yes. Um, the role that um, soap um, creates mm. in effective hand washing is mm -hmm. the fact that once you apply soap, it gives um, you um, a long time to um, wash the hands. Okay. It is the rubbing of the hands, the friction that is created, yeah. that actually rates the hands of the germs and the death that would cause diseases. Okay. So it doesn't necessarily mean that mm -hmm. um, the soap will kill the germs. Okay. But what it does is the rubbing action that um, the soap facilitates. Yeah. You are rubbing your palms, the back of your hands, yeah. in between your um, fingers, under the fingernails. Yeah. What that does is that um, it removes, it helps in removing all the germs the that gems your hands might have accumulated. Okay. Then when you wash it under running water, it washes all the germs yes, off. So it yeah. doesn't kill the germs, not it just necessarily. washes them yeah. off. In the process, some germs can be killed, be killed. but not all the germs. Not all the but germs. The most important thing is that it, it um, removes, it yeah. helps remove the germs from your hands, from your hands, which the water also facilitates. Yeah. yeah. 
and and with antibacterial soaps i know some people who you know if it's not antibacterial they are not touching it because they feel like that is the safest for them but if i don't have anti antibacterial soap and i use the regular soap does that still work for um me? um research and everything tells us that um all forms of um soap whether tablets mm. um liquid um detailed, um powder mm -hmm. and powdered soap they are all effective in reading the hands of germs yeah. as i said it is the um rubbing process the friction yeah. that helps in removing, removing the germs so okay. it doesn't necessarily have to, to be, be antibacterial, antibacterial. yeah okay. but so long as it is soap that will create a ladder when it is wet with water yeah and you rub vigorously yeah. the appropriate places you can be sure that when you rinse it after, mm. thereafter, your hands will be, be clean. clean. Yeah. You know, there are also soaps that already come lathered, right. like in the public restrooms. You know, right. you put your hand under and then it comes already lathered. Right. Uh, does that affect hand washing in any way? Because when I use it, I feel like I've not really washed my hands. I have to take so much and I feel okay, fine. It's a mental process. It's soap, so it will do the work. <laughs> But right. does, does that also, would you, would you say that that is also, um, it helps with proper hand washing? Um, with what you are saying, mm. you find them um, particularly in some public um, um, restrooms, especially yes. at the airports, mm. in bus terminals and yeah. all that. And I want to think that those are specially formulated um, to facilitate the process of right. hand washing. But as you said, um, it depends on maybe the amount that you take. Mm. If you think that your hands are really dirty and you need to really rub hard to get the gems off, yeah. take as much of it as you want. And mm. I think so long as you have soap and you rub your hands well, you'll be good in reading it of the gems. I'd like, I'd like you to speak to those out there who wash their hands for just about um, five seconds because um, hand washing is supposed to be a ritual thing. You wash your hands before you eat, and so they just go put their hands under the water and then, you, uh, and then they are done. And that's like within five seconds, you know, and then they are done. I want you to speak to them. Um, generally, we say that any time between 8 to 20 seconds will be a good time mm. to wash your hands if you follow the proper procedure. Yeah. And it must all, for hand washing to be effective, it must always be with soap and water, water. clean water. I should emphasize that. Yeah. It must be always with soap and clean, clean water. water. So if you go through the proper hand washing steps mm -hmm. or the procedure, yeah. like first you have to yes, wet take, your... Take us through, yeah. You, you, you wet your mm -hmm. hands, then you apply the soap. The soap. Then you rub the palm, the back of the hands, in between, in between the fingers, under the fingernails, um, all the places where it is possible that yeah. germs could have um, maybe collected. Mm -hmm. Because as humans, there is nothing that we do that doesn't involve our hands. Mm -hmm. Our daily chores from yeah. the time we wake up in the morning yeah. till we go to bed, our hands are involved in everything that we do. Yeah. And in that process, it collects a lot of germs mm -hmm. and other um, forms of bacteria, bacteria. or contaminants. Yeah. And the only way we can be sure that we are not ingesting these germs yeah. that could cause disease or um, spread infections mm -hmm. is to ensure that we do proper hand washing, hand washing, which will necessarily involve soup with clean running water. Awesome, awesome. I like that. Um, studies have also shown that uh, our phones also hold a lot of bacteria you know and there are some people who would you know wake up in the morning when they are going to eat they are holding their phones as they are eating they are holding their phones and all of that so i'm hoping that they will take take some um, some notes from you this morning now Go global communities is into um, ensuring that um water um or good um, hand washing practices are spread across ghana right it's it's um part of the work we do okay um just Global Communities mm -hmm. is an international NGO. Okay. It was actually formed um, as far back as 1952. And at that time in the US, the name was Cooperative Housing Foundation International. Okay. Here in Ghana, Global Communities started operating in 2007. Mm. And then um, at that time, it was still the Cooperative 
Housing Foundation International. Mm, yeah. So the name changed to Global Communities. Okay. From um, helping improve um, urban slums, mm -hmm. Global Communities, the, the, the bulk of the work we do now has to do with increasing sustainable access to water and sanitation, then okay. also improving um, um, key hygiene um, practices, which will include the hand washing with soap. Yes. So how, how feasible is that, um, you know, ensuring that they, they have the um, access to the water, um, proper high, um, hand washing practices and so on. So looking at the fact that in a lot of areas, even in uh, Accra or other urban areas, uh, they, we don't have um, running water. So how does that work out for you? How, how does that affect your, um, your operations? Um, what we do is um, we source for funding. Currently, okay. we are working on a project we call Water Sanitation and Hygiene for Health. Mm. We call it Wash, Wash. for Health. Mm. Um, it's a USAID funded project yeah. which we started in 2015. We are about to end by February 2020. Mm -hmm. That particular um, project, for instance, has six components and the overriding goal is to help improve health yeah. through the provision of water, sanitation and hygiene delivery. So the component we have, one that is focused on increasing access to potable water yeah. in rural communities, communities. basically, that okay. is where our focus is. Yeah. Then also we have, um, have a component dealing with water and sanitation access mm. to institutions, which are basically um, um, basic schools, yeah. then health facilities within the communities where we operate. Okay. We have a component that is dealing with um, access to um, sanitation, okay. improved household sanitation, yeah. and as I said, institutional ones at, as well. Yeah. Then we have a component that deals with policies and building capacity, capacity. within the wash sector. Yeah. Then um, we have the um, component that has to deal with expanding mm -hmm. um, key hygiene practices, practices where the hand washing comes would in. Come but in. has it been difficult um, implementing this, um, getting people yeah. to wash their hands, even though yeah. in certain areas they don't have water? Right, right. Um, there are a lot of challenges mm. which we are trying to help improve okay. to make hand washing a habit. Okay. Some of the challenges has to do with availability of the water, yes, like exactly. we said. Mm -hmm. For you to be able to properly wash your hands, mm -hmm. you need water yeah. to rinse off the germs. Exactly. Um, soap from research and all, we have come to realize that soap is not a big issue. Okay. Because wherever you go in Ghana, even in remotest of households, yeah. you'll find soap. Exactly. The issue has been with water. Okay. That is why one of the things we do is to increase access to um, good um, drinking water, water and for other household purposes, purposes such as well. washing, mm. bathing and washing um, the, the hands. hands. Okay. Yeah. So can we get a word of advice to Ghanaians and others out there who are watching? Um, special advice for hand washing day, how they should wash their hands or why they should wash their hands. Uh, why is it so important to, to them? Um, I must say that um, hand washing mm. um, is one of the easiest, simple, and most cost-effective or affordable ways that we can prevent the spread of infections and mm -hmm. especially prevent diseases. Mm -hmm. um, it doesn't take um, much soap. You yeah. can find soap. And as I said, it is <laughs> not particular soap. Yeah. It could be liquid soap, powdered soap, or bath um, soap. bathing soap, any yeah. kind of soap. So long as you apply water and the friction and you wash under clean water, yeah. you can be sure that your hands will be free from germs. Okay. But what we must, I must add is that it is important that we do this at the critical time. Okay. The time that we are most susceptible to ingesting germs if we don't wash the hands. Okay. And these are before um, we come into contact with food. Okay. So whether you are the one preparing the food, serving it, feeding mm -hmm. it to a child, mm -hmm. an invalid or an adult, yeah. make sure that your hands are washed properly. Mm -hmm. Then after contact with um, feces, when we finish using the latrine, exactly. whether for defecating, urination, or maybe for menstrual hygiene purposes, mm. we have to be sure that our hands are washed 
afterwards. with soap and the running water. water when we are able to do these, mm -hmm. then we will significantly reduce um, the, the um, spread of um, infections okay. and also prevent ourselves from getting ill or falling sick. Falling sick. Yeah. Okay. And um, what I must say is that it is time for every one of us to get on board. Yeah. That is why this year the theme for the celebration is clean hands for all. Mm -hmm. What it means is that all stakeholders right. from the government, mm -hmm. policy makers, decision makers, um, educational, educationists, yeah. those in the schools, teachers, mm -hmm. health facilities, um, especially the media, mm. we have a role to play. You have the role <laughs> to play in creating the visibility. Yes. One of the challenges um, maybe I want to use this platform okay. to, yeah. to expose is the fact that um, behavior change is a difficult thing yeah. because it takes a long time yeah, to exactly. change behavior. Habits once formed are hard, hard to, to break. Um, to break. Yeah. So, um, and for it to be effective, it must be systematic and planned. And planned. We have done research and produced materials to aid um, the um, hand washing promotion okay. and um, its adoption, uh, uh, making it a habit instead of um, once in a, um, a year yeah. um, event. But the challenge we have is um, the, how expensive it is to air the messages. Okay. So okay. I'm taking this platform to <laughs> appeal to okay. our media partners yes. that uh, maybe you create the forum yeah. or maybe give us very competitive packages for us to be, able, be able to, to air the messages right. so that it will reach every nook and cranny Rani. for people exactly. to be able to wash their hands. Okay. Yeah. Sure, sure. That's a good one. That's a good one. I know 3FM is also running, uh, you know, some ads on on hand washing as well. So we are we are celebrating Global Hand Washing Day. And currently, as we sit here, mm -hmm. um, some of our colleagues, together with our other partners, yes. are in Malam Atta Market, for instance. Yes, exactly. Um, engaging the market this women on um, the importance of, and doing of demonstration exactly. proper ways of hand washing. Also, in partnership with Zenet Bank, for instance, yes. our colleagues are also in okay. the Zenu cluster of schools. Yes. Today, they are um, providing, presenting them with hand washing hand facilities, washing. the okay, Veronica that's, bucket, that's yeah, okay. um, to facilitate hand washing in, in the schools. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's very, very good to know. We are celebrating Global Hand Washing Day with the theme Clean Hands for All. Right. So, no matter your age, your gender, your, wherever your you find yourself, you should be able stance, to clean your hands you in the right rural way. Area, and I've been speaking area, to you can wash uh, your hands. Mr. Edward Thompson, who is a, a behavioral change um, communication specialist at Global Communities. Thank you so much for joining us. And keep washing your hands the right way, whether they are dirty or not. Whatever you touch, make sure you wash your hands. All right, we'll see you after the break. Bella has a beautiful discussion for us. Stay tuned.